Beautiful shot of the West Coast this morning. Hello, everybody watching from Vancouver. We are here for you. Devo's got the latest news from Hollywood. How I Met Your Mother. Big um, show. Mama Mary, she's so sweet. Mama Mary, she's the sweetest. How you met her on the show? The I, show, How I Met Your Mother. That's what we're talking about. Now they're doing a sequel to this after three tries. Oh. After three tries, it's finally happening. That show ran, of course, from uh, 2005 to 2014, nine seasons. Oh, long. Neil Patrick Harris, uh, Colby Smolders in that one, um, Jason Siegel, of course. Uh, so many people in this. It's great. But they've been waiting to do this sequel, and it's going to be called I mean, How I Met Your that. Father. Are you serious? Wow, yes. that's, that's a left turn. <laughs> right? Okay, so it's going to star as the lead for this one, Hillary Duff. She, okay. She, where has she been? Yeah. Yeah, she's been doing some things, but there she is right there. They're casting her as Sophie. So here's the premise. In the near future, Sophie is telling her son the story of how she met his father through voiceover and flash forwards, similar to the original. This will also show present day where Sophie and her group of friends are figuring out who they are, what they want to do in life, how to fall in love, and the age of dating apps and limitless options, all that set in modern day New York City. Okay, that's to cool. Be interesting. So when they say it's a sequel, it's mm -hmm. it's kind of odd it's because spin -off. you're not gonna. Yeah, that's what would be better to say. But they've that's been calling it, it a sequel. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. See, I can't uh, wait for uh, how I met your second cousin twice removed. <laughs> that's gonna be. That's gonna be. And I think we're starring in that one. I think we can all. Okay, it's sorry. true though. Okay. Like, I'm like, well, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a stretch, but I think <laughs> it's going to do well. Yeah. I really do think it'll do well. Okay. Oh, there's a big fan base yeah, in the original. Yeah. And y'all and were asking when we talked about this earlier. For those of you who just joined us, we talked about the uh, the yellow umbrella. So anytime you saw the mother in the show, she was always covered by a yellow umbrella. Like the home improvement fans. Yeah. So okay. it's covered. I, I'm getting a phone call by the uh -oh. way. That's weird. Uh, okay. Disney and Sony teaming up. This is huge. This is, this is a big deal right here. They made a huge movie deal involving, you can do the Spider-Man impression better oh, than I like can, this. so go the, ahead. You did yeah. punches. It's more about... I was moving with it. Okay. I don't know how mine was... Dina's much. spidey sense is strong. Different. But sure. <laughs> New licensing deal, which makes Sony-made Spider-Man films available to stream on Disney streaming TV services, or services and TV channels starting in 2022 all the way through to 2026. Crucial for Marvel fans as the deal unlocks a significant number of Sony library titles. Big programming power for Disney now and its platforms, making them key destinations for a vast collection Is of there a spider man Girl? there needs to be a spider films. woman there uh, Is there, there, a spider there, woman? there was, was in the comics yeah. yeah there was in the comics yeah. you're right i think it could happen okay. you're right it could happen uh okay speaking of films we got to get to it. This is the final edition oh, of yeah. Oscars. B I N G O. B I N G O. B I N G O. It's Oscars. Bingo. Devo. There it is. Okay, here is the board. I had two movies to watch this week. Nomadland is the first one I watched. There we go. Boom. Nomadland. Okay. Right there. Now I'm gonna say you're noticing I'm wearing all gray today. Uh oh. It's the reason why I'm wearing all gray today. Many of the films nominated for Best Picture this season made you feel kind of blah. They were a little bit gray. They're heavy. They had, they had a little bit of a cloud hanging over your head yeah. for that, all right? Nomadland, another one like that as well. Uh, Frances McDormand, uh, she's nominated this year as well. So this basically is somebody who's houseless. Don't, you don't say homeless, they're houseless. houseless. They kind of like move around, mm -hmm. they hop around. And this is kind of based on true stories. And you see a lot of actual nomads in this film. Okay. Gonna say this, it's slow. It's a lot of not things breathing, happening. Breathing, Scenery, thoughtfulness. Okay. I understand why it got nominated. This is middle America. A lot of people are living like this. Yeah. And you're seeing different stories in that sense. Uh, so I get it. Uh, would I choose it to win? No. Okay. If you're looking for action, this year was not the year for action films. Okay. Uh, Clearly not. Picture, yeah. Right? So uh, a decent film. You nominated. Didn't find out. I didn't love it. Final one I checked out. Riz Ahmed and Sound of Metal. Love this movie. Which I finished last yeah. night. Did you? Did you Loved enjoy it? Yeah. this movie. Yeah. What did you think? I thought it was another one that's slow again. So he's basically he's a, he's a drummer. He's a rock drummer. Loses his hearing, and that to anybody uh, would freak them out, right? And and, and rightfully so. And so that you go through the journey with him as he's trying to. That's the scene actually right there when he just can't take it anymore. He's on stage with his girlfriend, uh, Lou, who's played by Olivia Cook. Does it give you his perspective of what it his feels like? His perspective, he's angry, he's trying to come to terms with it. He goes into a deaf community You're who are incredible, the real members of the community cast in this film who are great. Riz put in the work 
for this. He did months of training to learn ASL, to learn how to drum. They did only two takes per scene. Oh my gosh. And he didn't get the daily scripts. They wanted to be as natural as possible so that he could be a part of what was going on in a real way. Um, I would love to talk to him about this film and, and kind of how it went for him. So you loved uh, but the it? respect that he has for the community and for anybody who uh, deals with this on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. uh, has grown and it's, it's grown for me after watching this film as well. That's awesome. So there you go, all done. Completed so who's the your Oscars pick? bingo card yeah. who's right your pick there. It's a celebration. Yeah. yeah. Great job, right. Steve. So, so like 15 seconds. Yeah. Who, who do you think is winning best picture? Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to say Judas or, oh, man. Trial, okay. trial, Chicago Seven. But I think we'll do this all tomorrow, three of us. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, I'm okay. jumping we'll the gun. Sorry. Yeah, we'll do some predictions tomorrow, three of us, and see how it goes. Oscars happening, of course, Sunday, this Sunday, the 93rd edition of the Academy Awards. Can't okay. wait to check them out. Awesome. Great all right, job, uh, it is Earth Day. Let's 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 try and connect with the Earth a bit better here. We're gonna do some Ooh. yoga for moving in the morning. We are actually legit heading to Costa Rica yeah. for moving oh, in the morning. Wow. Coming awesome. up, Nicole yes. Regan will be joining us as we just kind of slow everything down yeah. and respect our surroundings. That's next. Happy Earth Day. You're watching BT.